Over the past four years, I've been blessed with outstanding mentors, both in and out of the classroom, and great fortune in the laboratory that has most recently culminated in my being named a Marshall Scholar. If you told me four years ago that I would be standing here in front of you today talking about my journey as an engaged scholar and preparing to jet off to the UK for three years to study malaria, I think you're probably out of your mind. Um, and I mean to say that I never realized that simple and early engagement can slingshot you way beyond whatever you thought was possible for yourself. And this brings me to my first fundamental idea for productive engagement and scholastic achievement, and that's that early involvement is crucial. As a freshman surrounded by experts and experts in training, I absorbed a great deal of experimental and technical knowledge. I engaged my classroom material in new ways and found that it actually improved my ability to learn because as I practiced those concepts in the laboratory, they became more and more intuitive. But more importantly, I began to practice how to think. Engage experiences force students to be creative, to think in multiple dimensions, and to problem solve in ways that are just not possible inside the classroom. And these skills are crucial because they form the basis for how we implement knowledge to address the real problems that the real world presents. And unfortunately, not every undergraduate has these opportunities before they graduate. So therefore, if I'm in the minority and my classmates graduate with this technical knowledge, but insufficient training and implementation via these engaged opportunities, I think we've really missed the mark with their investment in higher education. This may be a little bit extreme, but it's kind of like we've trained builders to design homes, but never actually taught them to pick up a hammer and construct one. By getting engaged early, students have, most importantly, the time to cultivate and sharpen these skills, and in doing so, make major discoveries along the way about themselves, how they learn best, and their fields of study, and therefore become best prepared for whatever lies beyond Penn State. But early engagement is only part of our solution. I think our size as a university presents the biggest strengths and weaknesses surrounding our engagement issue. Because of our size, we have an amazing wealth of opportunity for students of any background to succeed. But also because of our size, being a student here sometimes feels like we're racing to drink from a fire hose. Every day we may be swamped with this tide of notifications about programs and internships and guest speakers and summer opportunities, and the list goes on and on. And it's especially difficult as a first year student to distill out what are the key opportunities for me and my career goals because sampling it all is unrealistic. Recently I was asked what behaviors do students need from the university in support of engaged scholarship and my response brings me to my second fundamental idea and that's that uh, engaged scholars are the products of proactive mentorship from faculty and peers and I've practically stumbled into those relationships by chance and so what I propose is the following. What if we integrate engaged upperclassmen trained as mentors into the lives of first year undecided students so that every student has a transition buddy to help them not just through their first week of class, their first semester, but their first entire year. To help them pick the right classes that don't just check off graduation boxes, but are actually meaningful to the student and help them identify and explore their interests. And lastly, find their engaged niche within the university. These upper class mentors would augment faculty advisors, not replace them, to provide on the ground intel to students that faculty are often unaware of. Our own College of Business has actually been doing this exact plan for many years with outstanding success. And universities across the country um, have demonstrated by example that this plan is scalable, but most importantly, effective. I truly believe that we as a university now can do this. And in my own experience, I found that peer mentoring is a two-way street. I benefit from the students that I mentor because the action of mentoring forces me to challenge and reflect upon my own knowledge and experiences. There was one particular time when I was mentoring a student discussing undergraduate research. Um, and I described my first experience and how it really wasn't that beneficial and it didn't, didn't work out. And I realized halfway through that conversation that it was incredibly important because it taught me exactly how I wanted to learn and be taught by virtue of experiencing exactly the opposite. And I rely on those insights every day and they help me pick my current lab that I've been in ever since, pick the medical schools that I wanted to apply to, and most recently decide how and where I wanted to spend my tenure as a Marshall Scholar. There have been a handful of times recently at conferences or interviews when I've been asked kind of rhetorically, why did you go to Penn State? As if people are surprised that Penn State could have produced a student that has accomplished. And, you know, without fail, every time I respond by saying that Penn State is a world-class institution with endless opportunities for any student of any area of interest to succeed. 
And although we know this is baseless and this is because we live the Penn State way every single day, we also know that our applications may be overlooked when compared against candidates with similar credentials from different institutions. And this is the problem that I lose sleep over. But despite its magnitude, I think that we as students still have agency in this issue. And I like to think that I've shown that it can be overcome with engaged scholarship. My involvement and my passions made me competitive for the Marshall Scholarship. But only the proactive mentorship that I've received from my faculty and peers gave me the confidence, the knowledge, and the skill to succeed. By taking ownership in our education and getting actively involved, we show not only that land-grant education works, but it allows us to demonstrate and practice real skills as undergraduates that make us best at whatever we do after graduation. And although I know this, and hopefully I've convinced you now that engaged scholarship is a good idea, we still struggle with implementation. Recently, we've begun to talk and take action on engaged scholarship as a university community, but there's more that we can do in support of our students now. If every student from day zero as a Nittany Lion had an upper class mentor, as well as a faculty advisor, to show them what has worked for students that are similar to them in the past, proactively explore new experiences, and chart their own personalized roadmap to success, I truly believe that our student body would be unstoppable. I want to close now with a quote from Ben Franklin that I think captures the essence of undergraduate uh, engaged scholarship as well as peer mentoring, and that's, tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, but involve me and I learn. Thank you. <laughs>